Hello guys and welcome back to another video. I'd first like to start off by saying thank you to everyone who watched my video, liked and the new subscribers that I've gained. So thank you very much for that. In the last video was create this organic type cloth uh, using X particles, which I realized not a lot of people have. So this time around, I'm going to create it using the native Cinema 4D tools. Uh, and uh, you'll be able to take this and continue uh, the previous tutorial and you will be able to get the same result at the end. So what you want to do first is you want to go to simulate, click on emitter, which will create this square emitter. If you press play, it will fire these particles. We want to slow down the speed of the particles and go to the emitter itself. And where it says emitter type, you want to change that. Oh, it's already in pyramid which is great you can maybe make this a bit bigger we'll say 150 by 150 and the angle horizontal will turn up to 360 and the angle vertical will turn up to 180 so basically it will somewhat be uh, like like a sphere um, obviously it's going to emit it in a sort of a pyramid uh, mode but we will get a similar type of effect with particles firing from um, top and bottom what we want to do then is we want to click on the emitter and go to more graph and click on tracer now the tracer tool is uh, pretty much exactly the same as the xp trail uh, it creates a trail or, or in this case it's creating a tracer it's basically using the first particle and creating a tail behind it so if you press play as you can see it's creating this but what's going on here they're all straight that's because if you remember on the previous one, we used a motion modifier in the X particles. And this time we're going to go into simulate, go into forces, and we're going to use forces. And what we can do is we can add a turbulence, turn up the strength a bit, turn up the scale. And let's play again. And there we go. We're getting a bit more. Um, we're getting some random movement going on there. I think I might make this emitter smaller because... Uh, the smaller the point, I guess, the the more uh, the more the particles and the initial particles will be in the center. Uh, they will be closer, should I say? Sorry. So let's get to a point that I like. I might just turn up the particle count, which is in particle. There we go. Let's go to twenty-five by twenty-five. Let's press play. That's way better. I might just turn the turbulence strength down, turn the scale up, see what happens now. Brilliant. So about 45th frame, I can go to the tracer, press C, and then I can delete these two. And then the similar thing will apply. I can make this bigger or smaller. It's completely up to you. I will then put it into a volume builder, a volume measure, and then I can basically do, I can basically do, uh, not do do <laughs> i can basically do the exact same thing i did on my previous tutorial to get pretty much the exact same look so thanks again for watching guys please like share and subscribe